Hello, Mac here, and I am back for another unboxing and review of a Funko Pop. And for this vlog, it's gonna be an unboxing and review of Funko Pop animation, Demon Slayer, more specifically of Tanjiro Kamado. And as you all know, I am a collector of, of some Tanjiro Kamado figures, so this is a new figure for me to add it to my Tanjiro Shrine. So if you haven't checked out that blog, I'm gonna put the link on the description box below in order for you to watch it. So this Funko Pop, I have pre-ordered this since May. So I'm kinda lucky because my father works nearby the Hobby Stock store in Green Hills. It's a popular shopping mall here in the Philippines so I kinda I'm kinda lucky that he reserved a slot for the pre-orders so yeah here's the box here's the side here's the back of the box so right now currently I have Tanjiro and Muzan so I'm still waiting for the payday baby <laughs> in order to Purchase Nezuko and the Sinet Sinitsu and Inosuke Funko Pops. So yeah. I really love the box art here at the side. Because as you can see the background is similar to his the to the pattern of his Howry. So yeah, without further ado, let's start the unboxing and review. So here's my trusted ruler in unboxing these boxes of Funko Pops. Oh, there's an Easter egg. <laughs> so here at the bottom of the box, you can see the meme <laughs> meme face of Tanjiro. It's like this is his face when something funny is happening on the manga or in the anime. So yeah, it's like an Easter egg. I know that Mirio, this Funko Pop here of My Hero Academia, also has a similar Easter egg at the bottom of his box. So yeah, let's proceed with the unboxing. Can he stand even without oh yeah yeah he can stand even without the stand but he comes with a stand and I gotta say that this stand is thick as you can see it's not similar to the stands that Funko has on their Funko Pops on an earlier release just like the My Hero Academia or other Funko Pops that was released before this Funko Pop so yeah it's very thick plastic lodi <laughs> now for security of this Funko Pop let's put him in his stand so yeah for those out of the box collectors you won't be having any problems displaying him out of the box like that now for the review well the hair is spot on it's the reddish or brownish color of his hair it has a nice coloration nice details also the pattern of the coloration is great the shades of dark brown and reddish color is nice now for his scar or birthmark so I'm not gonna go into details in order for you to be not spoiled um, it has nice details and I think it's gonna be a mortal scene if Funko or any other toy lines will not include that birthmark or mess this birthmark or scar 
because even in bootleg and some original toy lines they really put an effort in or in making that scar so here are my two figures this is a bootleg as you can see it has a birthmark also or scar <laughs> and also at my Q Posket Mini Tanjiro so yeah it's like the freckles of Deku you need to have that freckles even though it's a bootleg or an original toy line now for the next details that I'm gonna tackle it's his Hanafuda earrings so yeah it's a nice it has nice details it's not just paint you can feel the texture of every part of it also at the other side even at the back you can see that it has a details unlike the other bootleg toys of Tanjiro they don't really care about the back part of the Hanafuda earrings now for the Hauri, well it's the same pattern of course <laughs> it's like a checkered pattern of black and green there's just some maybe it's in the manufacturer error or um, it's just some dust I think but it can easily be removed of course there are some paint chips but that's okay it's always given that there are always some paint chips here and then for a Funko Pop I mean all of the toys have those mini errors now for the Nichiren sword it's kind of a flexible material as you can see it's like a soft plastic so it can easily be bent as you can see mine is kind of bent <laughs> that's okay I'm not really that perfectionist of a person <laughs> for the sword scabbard well it's a typical sword scabbard well this is just my opinion but I think Funko should have made the hole on this part of the scabbard where the sword is being inserted to illustrate that the sword is drawn now for the lower part of his body I love the details of this belt you can see that it has color separation oh I almost forgot even the buttons here at the top and his pocket side pocket here it has nice color separation now for the pants well it's a typical Tanjiro pants in the anime so it has nice creases as you can see here and here I think the details that are missing are on his um, leg support I forgot what it's called but they should have made it as you can see there's a button buttons set of buttons there they should have made it like a metal color just like on his belt since his belt even though it's small you can clearly see that it has color separation so I think I think they should have made it here also now let's measure the height of Tanjiro on his stand so he is 4 inches or going to 4.5 but he falls to the standard height of a Funko Pop now let's put him on the rotating display stand and do some close up shots well, that 
that's it for this unboxing and review of Funko Pop Animation Demon Slayer, more specifically of Tanjiro Kamado. Well, since this is a Tanjiro Kamado vlog, why not put all of my Tanjiro figures in this vlog? <laughs> Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell in order for you to be updated on my latest vlogs. And also, like my Facebook page, it's Max Collectibles. It will also be posted on the description box below. So stay tuned for my review of Muzan Kibutsuji, the main antagonist of Demon Slayer. Collect toys and good memories. Thank you.